Welcome to our remote desktop gateway tutorial. My name is Brian Schrift and I'm going to be walking you through how to use your built-in remote desktop connection software to easily and securely connect to your office computer or server. RD Gateway is an additional setting in the remote desktop connection software many of you are already familiar with. This allows you to connect to a work computer from outside of your network. So we'll start by opening up the remote desktop connection software, which is pre-installed on your Windows computer. There is also remote desktop software similar to this for other systems, including Mac, Apple, and Android devices. First, we'll go to the Advanced tab, where we'll configure the gateway connection. This is the ability to connect to a local computer from outside of your network. So select the Advanced tab, then click Settings under Connect from Anywhere. To use RD Gateway, you'll need three pieces of information, your server name, your computer name, and a username password. This information will be provided to you by PrecisionBS support when activating your account for remote access. In these settings, we need to tell the software the name of your server that you're going to use to connect through. This, while this is typically a name, it could also be an IP address. Again, we will provide you with this information. So you'll want to select Use these RD Gateway Server Settings. You're going to enter your server name, which we will provide you, and then check the Login Settings box at the bottom of the screen. Now that the server we're going to connect through for secure access is configured, you can go back to the General tab. Here, we'll enter your computer name, which is the computer you'll be connecting to at the office, and your username. Tip. While not always required, it's usually a good idea to enter the full computer name and login name to avoid connectivity issues. Again, this information will be provided to you in this manner. Then we simply click Connect. After clicking Connect, you'll be prompted to enter your password. Enter it and select OK. You may be prompted with a security warning. That's OK. To avoid seeing this message in the future, simply click the box not to prompt you again in the future and click Yes to continue connecting. That's it. If you're familiar with the remote desktop connection software already, you'll know that also in those advanced options are settings for multiple monitors, sound, linking drives, and, and more. Uh, but from a connection from an outside perspective, uh, those three pieces of information and those settings are all we need to uh, successfully connect. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, there are also remote desktop apps for non-Windows systems, and here are two examples of the software used for connectivity from a Mac or iPad. I use a Mac and iPad, and these apps work great. And you'll still only need those three pieces of information, the server name, the computer name, and your credentials to connect using these applications. And here's one last tip for you. If you connect to multiple systems or would simply like a shortcut on your desktop, when you're done putting in all the correct settings, you can click Save As to create a file which you then simply double click on in the future connect to connect. I'd recommend saving it somewhere to easily access, such as your desktop. I hope you found this tutorial on Remote Desktop Gateway useful. If you have any questions or need assistance, please contact our help desk at support at precisionbs.com or 814-471-0206. Thank you and have a great day.